welcome to Monday Night Live number 80. Uh, we're, uh, we're just getting everything sorted here, get the comments up. Welcome everyone. I see a stack of people here, Ben and uh, Mark and Aaron and Nevin and Trevor Pies here. How are we going? We're, uh, we may have a uh, special guest on. Uh, we're kind of hoping we got a special guest on tonight. Although last time I heard he was sitting in a pub. Um, so uh, let's hope he's not uh, more than about uh, 15 schooners in. So uh, that's, the, that's the hope anyway. So uh, <coughs> welcome everyone. Giant show tonight. Um, what machine would I buy? Um, so tonight's prizes... Uh, we've got an Ace 200 to go out to someone tonight, um, so we'll randomly pick between YouTube and Facebook, um, and then the opposing uh, side, the opposing side that doesn't win, um, yes I can see Cleggy on the screen here, gets a, uh, gets a, a mug and a uh, little tiny bag of pay dirt, so um, so, Cleggy's behaving like a lunatic. Cle Cleggy's our special guest, but uh, he's, he's, he's sitting in the dark at the moment, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll get him on in a minute here. So, um, we're really, really looking forward to Cleggy. He's bouncing off the walls by the look of it. So, uh, yes, so we've got, uh, we've, got him, we've got him added there. Oh, yes, he's in the daylight now. So, welcome everybody. Um, so we got to, uh, what's going on here? I've got a, uh, we just got to get this organized here. Um, so Cleggy will be on in just a moment. So I've just got to work out how to, that's how we do it. I've got an earpiece in. So when I switched over to see what Cleggy was doing, all I could hear was Cleggy. So, uh, but anyway, that's good. So, uh, righto. Right, so let's get started with these, uh, what I would buy um, in the, uh, in the, this is the spring edition, but before I do, uh, what I'd like to do is um, everyone has a go at poor old Warwick um, as a, uh, as not a good place to go detecting because there's not enough, uh, not enough gold out there, it's completely flogged. Well... This is a bit that came out of the GPA last week. 2.3 grams um, and uh, yeah, 2.3 grams, 2.3 grams, 2.3 ounces. So that's, what's that, five and a half grand sort of thing at spot. Maybe, uh, maybe not quite as much as that, but that's a beautiful, beautiful piece of gold. Um, straight out of the... Uh, Warwick GPA, it's inside the GPA, not outside. So a fantastic piece of gold there. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah. Uh, Graham's here from Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah, this background picture, if anyone's wondering, it's uh, Steve Word, and I think it's up Gympie Way, so where the World Metal Detecting Championships is happening. So... But we're going to talk about the World Metal Detecting Championships in a minute. I've got to stop watching Cleggy here. He's behaving like a lunatic over on that screen there. So I'll bring him in a minute. So, um, okay. So I've split these down. How I've done it. I've actually had to do it by price. So we've got uh, pulse induction machines, no limit price. Then we've got... Uh, VLF machines, no limit price. Then we've got uh, the gold VLF entry pro entry machine, uh, VLF gold machine, um, and then VLF. These are the cheaper ones, up to about seven hundred dollars. So I've split them down. So um, I've split them down by that, and we're going to start at the top end with which everyone probably knows. And I've, what I've done with this list is actually, I've added a few things, I've taken some away, compared to, I, I went back and had a look at our autumn edition, we do this twice a year. So I have 
So I've added and taken away and changed things up dramatically. Um, I've taken a lot of stuff out. In fact, I only would buy three and a bit brands. Um, them a Pixum. Now, other people will have different opinions and that's fine. And people can carve me up in the comments and, uh, and uh, yeah. So we'll, uh, so we get, that's what we're going to do. But a few of them stay the same. Like this fella here, where is it? The big fella. So we're gonna start with the gold machines, right? This fella here, GPX 7000. We've got most of the machines here actually. So GPX 7000, absolutely, without a doubt, the best gold machine on the market. Goes deeper, finds it all, you know, until something else comes out, until Garrett, XP, Fisher, Whites bring out something that competes with this. This will be, in my opinion, the best gold machine kicking around. It takes some getting used to if you've gone to, if you've started with GPXs, right? It takes some getting used to. But this thing is an absolute weapon, okay? Now, while we're on the, the big guns, if you like, I've taken, I've really taken the five out of it. I know it's not available. Uh, uh, the four and a half's not available anymore, but for my money, value for money, the 4500, right, the GPX 4500, you put a nugget finder coil on this machine, and it is a very, very, very good machine. So I wouldn't necessarily, and these things can be picked up substantially cheaper than a 5000 and will probably perform just as bad as well sort of thing. So. For mine, the 4500 is the best value gold machine kicking about. Um, for just pure performance and uh, pure performance and, and, and value for money, your 4500 uh, will be uh, will be sensational. So, seems like we're having a few problems uh, on the. Uh, the YouTube, so I'm not sure what's going on there with the YouTube. Um, a few people uh, have disappointed, it disappeared off there. So um, just let me know if uh, everyone's having problems on YouTube. I'm not sure what I can do about it, but uh, but um, yeah, come if if one's not working properly, Facebook seems to be working fine. So. Right, uh, yeah, Dan's come across from uh, the YouTube. Um, so, a lot of people are asking why was the 45 discontinued? Why was this machine discontinued? Well, there's a lot of speculation about that. I think, I think a lot of people realized that um, the performance difference between the 45 and the five probably wasn't that great probably wasn't $2,000 great. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, it probably wasn't $2,000 greater. So that's why a lot of people went to the 45. Therefore, they're not selling a lot of machines. Way it goes. So um, that's why I believe the 45 was discontinued. So, uh, but again, all of this stuff is my, uh, just my opinion. And, uh, you know, opinions are pretty easy here um, to, uh, yeah, everyone's got their own opinion, that's for sure, so. Righto, so, what's the next one? And this is a machine I haven't got here. Um, I don't own this one at the moment, and it's the SDC. The SDC is a absolutely quality small gold machine. It won't punch as deep. Um, right. So, sorry, I'm just having a look at the uh, YouTube. Apparently, people that have come on late uh, seem to be going better. Um, but the... Uh, 
but a lot of people are saying, I look, I sound like I'm watching a dubbed Japanese martial arts film. Well, that'd be a show and a half, wouldn't it? So, yes. So, uh, I've, I've, got to, I've, got to actually, I've actually got to put Cleggy's screen somewhere else. I can't watch him any longer. I'm going to have to, we might actually have to get him in here soon. Let me just rattle through two more, and then we'll bring in the big guns to talk about uh, the World Metal Detecting Championship, hey? So, two machines. Up next... And this is the end of the pulse machines. They're the end of the pulse machines that I would buy for gold. Okay? The, the next section is pulse diving machines. So machines you can dive with. Specific diving machines. No, we're not talking about Equinox. We're talking about diving machine. And it's these two here. Alright? Um, the Excalibur and the... What's that one? The Sea Hunter. So those two I don't see a those two I don't see a huge difference in performance with. Uh, sea Hunter's eleven ninety nine, the Excalibur's seventeen ninety five. Is it six hundred bucks difference? I don't know. I haven't had enough experience um, with the Excalibur to know. But performance wise, I just think you know they're pretty similar. So. Uh, so g'day Craig, g'day Matthew, Ron, Janet, Philip, lots of people here. Right, I can't stand this any longer. I can't stand this any longer. I've got to get Cleggy up here. So let me just reorganise these stream screams. We'll get rid of this. Uh, well, where are we here? We'll just get rid of, we're going to halve me, which I know is upsetting to a lot of people. Um, not Cleggy, obviously. And then we're going to try and pull Cleggy in. Here, let's just see if we can get Cleggy in here. And I just want to know, Cleggy, you got your uh, microphone on, mate. Need your microphone on, Cleggy. Cleggy! Cleggy! <laughs> I don't know whether his microphone is on or he's fallen asleep. Here he is. You're on, Cleggy. Turn your microphone on. Is your microphone on, Cleggy? We can't hear you, Cleggy. We can't hear you, Cleggy. Right, we're going to have to come back to Cleggy because we're having a fairly big issue with Cleggy's audio. In fact, this is the nicest conversation I've ever had with Cleggy. It's sensational. Um, what's going on? Oh, he's holding his phone up. It's a disaster. So what we'll do is we'll come back to Cleggy when we just sort this microphone out. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there because I want to have a chat to Cleggy about the uh, about the World, World Metal Detecting Championships So and see how everything's going there. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to organise all this stuff. Um, so... We got, uh, we're just having a look here, front mic, headphones, I should be able to hear Cleggy. This is why I like to test these things before we go completely live. But Cleggy had his, his roast dinner coming, so. Um, hey Nadia, how are you, Steve? Righto, and the reason I wanted to bring Cleggy in there is because uh, I'm just having a look here. No, I haven't got his audio turned off. It must be Cleggy's end. So, um, okay. VLF machines, when price is no object. Okay. Um, so what we might do there is... Uh, Mr. Weirdo's here, and I believe that's Steve. G'day, Steve. How are you going? Um, what, we'll, what we'll do here it was we'll see if we can reconnect to Cleggy's session, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so, when price is no object and you want a VLF machine, um, my pick of them is not the 3030. 
CTX 3030. My pick of them is the XP Dias. The XP, XP Dias at $17.99, I believe, is the best relic machine on the market. Okay, absolutely outstanding. It's also one of the dearest machines on the market. Um, and it gets updates really, really, really frequently. It's, um, it's just a very, very, very good machine. Very, very light um, and a great, great machine. It is the 7,000 of Relic Machines in my belief. So, so Angie, lots of people here are talking about the, where's the RX? Well, we haven't got to the VLF gold machines just yet but um, but yes so people are asking about other brands of machines so I've used a lot of other brands of machines there is the there is certainly a stack of other brands you will notice that uh, I haven't spent enough time with the likes of Nocta machines to really know what the deal is. Um, there is White's machines, there's Fisher machines. I haven't spent a stack of time. I have opinions of them. Uh, the 24K from White seems like it's a very, very good machine. I don't think it competes with some of these other machines, but yeah. Now the Ace, uh, the, the only macro cruiser racer, um, the yeah, so, yeah. but the Deus is the pick of the VLF machines. You can forget about the 3030. I reckon the Deus outperforms the 3030. Probably not on the beach. I, if, I was a, if I was a beach hunter, I would choose a different machine to a 3030. So, okay, which, which is a great segue to the Equinox 800 for a, for a, Beach machine, right? A beach and coin and park machine. The Equinox takes a lot of beating, okay? On the beach, on its beach settings, where a lot of other machines don't set up this way, but on its beach settings, it just goes dead quiet. So absolutely fantastic for that. You can set other machines up that way. There is no doubt about that. But the, the pre-program mode on the Equinox is outstanding. So, yeah, so Equinox 800 is my pick for the beach. Okay, so people are talking about Vanquish. We're gonna talk about Vanquish shortly. Um, we're gonna talk about RRXs. We're gonna talk about all these other machines uh, very, very shortly. People are asking, uh, also asking about how to win this. So Ace 200 going out tonight from Garrett. Um, it's also on the list. So you need to share the live stream on Facebook, right? That also goes for the YouTube guys. So I will track you down if you're the winner, no doubt about that. The opposite, the opposite stream gets a gold diggers mug and a, ba a tiny bag of pay dirt. I'm just about out of pay dirt, so all I have is the little tiny $8 bags. So that's what you get. So you need to share the live stream um, and yeah, go from there. And when I look at it, I haven't updated it here, but uh, yeah. So that is that. Now, everyone might have met, uh, noticed up in this corner here, I have a bright, a bright pink WCQ at mail.com. It's simply the, it's the web, uh, the email address you send questions to. If you're coming to the World Metal Detecting Championships, right, and you want questions on the panel show, you really need to send it to the WCQ at mail.com. Um, so if you send that, uh, send any questions you have to that email address, and uh, and those questions or some of those questions will end up in the uh, the panel show on the Friday night at the World Metal Detecting Championships. We're trying to get a bit organized for that and not just have it random chaos. 
Um, so we're trying to get a bit organized. So send your questions, any questions you're gonna have, send them through to that email address and there will be all sorts of people there. There will be um, Garrett specialists there. Um, there will be Mind Lab specialists there. There'll be Just Detectorists there. There'll be, you know, if you want to ask me a big question, we can get into that. Um, if you want to, yeah, if, if you, anything you want to know, just send it to that email address there, WCQ. So World Championships questions at mail.com. So, yeah. Um, so we're trying to get a bit organized with that. So please send questions. There'll be very little shouting off the floor. We'll be trying to be a bit organized. So, uh, yeah. Righto. So, people, I've just noticed a lot of people saying that the CTX 3030 is amazing. Yeah, it is. And in certain circumstances, the 3030 will beat a dais, but very, very, very few circumstances. I hate to tell you, but I've used both, and I've used both a lot, and I tell you, the dais is, uh, the dais is a absolute weapon. It is a huge, huge weapon, so. Right, so, VLF relic machines. People are saying there's no gar no Garrett's on the list. Gold Dan, Gold Dan or Gold Den said no Garrett's on the list. Well, there is. There's two more. So, AT Max. Okay. People don't like it on the beach. Okay. I can set it up for you so it runs quiet, just like an Equinox. Um, so the AT Max is, I think, the best all round are going around. Here it is here, okay? Garrett AT Max, okay? The things that I use a lot get these covers on them. So you'll notice that in a minute, you'll notice the RX has got a cover on it. Lots of things have got a cover on it, okay? Fantastic machine. One adv bit of advice for the gold hunters out there is that coil there, okay? That let me try it this way. I've got to machines over. That is a Nell Sharpshooter coil. For gold, a smaller coil like this is dramatically better on this Max. It absolutely, it's, it's fantastic like that. So that's basically how I use it all the time. Uh, AT Max with a Nell Sharpshooter on it. These Nell coils, while we're talking about these Nell coils, these Nell coils are absolutely sensational. Um, if you've got a Garrett machine and look at upgrading coil, get yourself a Nell coil. If you've got stuff like 705s, they make a stack of different coils, right? Um, so get yourself a Nell coil. They just they just seem to be more powerful than the than the uh, than the standard coils. And here's the Equinox. All right, we talked about the Equinox being a great beach machine. Phenomenal machine. Um, a lot of people try hitting the gold with it, and really, that's your biggest enemy up this end. That size coil. There's a little tiny coil you can get for, with it. You're probably better off with that if you're gonna smash gold. Okay, so I would use the small coil over this coil for gold. But really, there are better gold machines. If you want to do gold, there are better gold machines. But on the beach, I don't think there is anything that surpasses that, really. So, we talked about AT Max as the all-rounder. This, as a relic machine, is probably, as everybody knows, my tip to win the World Metal Detecting Championships the AT Pro. Um, so the AT Pro, I think, is one of Garrett's best machines they've made in the last 10 years. This thing 
simple, powerful. You can put it on standard mode, switch it over to pro mode, you grow with the machine. You cannot beat this machine as a simple turn on and go, powerful, high level machine. So um, the AT Max is much more finicky, much more noisy than this machine. So if you're looking for a beach machine or just a relic machine and you don't particularly care about the gold and you're looking for simple, this AT Pro is a absolute weapon. So, um, so yeah, so AT Pro. So that sort of sums up my... Uh, my, if you like, VLF relic machines, with one exception, okay? So here's the one exception. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna have, it's, it's movie time, so we like to have a movie every now and again. So here's the movie time. Um, it runs for about four, five minutes, so um, I'll just put that on now. It's a cool little movie, actually. So here we go.
Well, there you go. What a magnificent piece of marketing, let's say. So, what have we got? Uh, so, what have we got with the Vanquish? Now, the Vanquish is going to re basically replace the X Terror range, as far as I know. So, 705 is gone, as we know. So, so you're looking at Vanquish 340, Vanquish 440, and Vanquish 540. Now, the 540 comes in a pro mode. Now, when they say pro mode, really it just means two coils, okay? So, um, price-wise, don't know just yet. but. It's a reasonable looking machine. It, it really does. When I compare those three models to the Ace machines, they look very, very, very similar. So the Vanquish is, you know, it's a, it's a good machine. Oh, I think it'll be a good machine. I think it'll sit price wise against these Ace machines. So I think where the go finds leave off, the Vanquish will come in and get you to an Equinox 600. So they fit in that gap. So if you're thinking about buying a high-end relic machine, um, it won't be, there you go. Chris says 299, 399 and 499. So um, that's unconfirmed, but 299, 399 and 499. That makes a lot of sense, but they do, like you look at the Ace, like the Ace 200 is a three button machine. When you go to the three, 300, Ace 300, it's a six button machine. So, you know, the similarities there. So, yeah, because the Garrett Ace Ranger detectors are absolutely the biggest selling de metal detectors in the world. Like by tenfold, they are dramatically <coughs> bigger than anything else going around so that's probably what they're looking at so um, so I don't know what those prices are okay like that was just something that Chris put up I don't know I don't know whether it's US pricing or Australian pricing um, I really don't know um, but I suspect that might be US dollars. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the new Vanquish. So it'll fit in the next well in a couple of uh, in a couple of uh, sections time when we get into the entry level. I think that'll uh, yeah. Um, Yeah, and Gem Q makes a good point. It's got multi IQ, okay? So multi IQ is what the Nox has got in it, okay? So the multi IQ may make it a substantially better machine than the Aces. So until we start sticking a few in people's hands and knowing what they're knowing what the deal is with these, you really don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, it, it's a very, very, like, I don't believe a lot of this marketing, okay? Like, someone just asked, do I sell all these machines? I sell half of these machines, probably. Yeah, probably less than half of these machines. This is just what I'd buy. So I don't believe a lot of the marketing. 
So until these go in hand in someone's hand, I don't know. I don't know. Just like, just like you guys don't know. Like I'm not even going to be selling these vanquishers. So, um, but I think it'll be well. Multi IQ should be good on the beach. So someone asked here about Wayne. Wayne Walsh asked if it's any good on the beach. So I don't know. We'll see. So. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Right. So, let's talk about a starter gold machine. Let's talk about the gold machines I would buy. And somewhere here, I've got it. Here it is. The best VLF uh the best vlf gold machine on the market i don't have a lot of room here for some reason is this fella here okay the rx from a point of view of lightness its ability to handle the hot ground this thing i believe wipes out the old favorite of the gold bug too I think it's slightly better than the gold monsters. Nothing wrong with the gold mon monster, but this thing here is just smashing gold nuggets all over the country. WA all the way to North Queensland and everywhere in between. I've seen these things perform out in the lease. I've used it out in the lease and the, like it is a quality piece of gear. So the RX, in my opinion, is the best VLF gold machine going around. Um, the Gold Monster is excellent. It's the close second, but I'd buy this every day of the week. It's French, French made. It's lightweight. It's 800 grams. Um, yeah. Um, so these sell at 11.49. So you're looking at Gold Monsters at really a thousand bucks on special so 11.49 um so price wise they're very good and they won't perform like an sdc an sdc is pulse induction technology where this is vlf technology okay so yes the so let me just explain the difference between this and the dais the dais if you like, this machine here, the RX, is a cut down version of the dais. So everything that's in here is in the dais. But this is gold specific, okay? So this is designed for gold. What is also remarkable about it um, is that it's, it's a very, very, very good coin machine as well. Um, um, there's a, it has got a salt mode on it. I think it's this button, you hold that button down. I might have it back to front, it might be this button, but I think it's this button here. You hold that button down and it puts the salt button on. Uh, so it will work in heavily mineralized salt ground and on the beach. So this is actually one of my favorite machines. So um, yeah, very, 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 very good machine. So that's my winner um, in the VLF gold machine. Um, yeah, and you can, Whoa, knocking everything over here. You can just see how trash that coil cover is. It gets a lot of use, this machine. I smash it up. So I've got a little rocky creek that I go, and there is nuggets all in the bottom of that creek, little tiny nuggets. But to get in there, you've got to get in, in amongst all the boulders, and that's what you've got to do. So, right. Um, so Monique asks, is the RX waterproof? We haven't talked about waterproof. XP machines aren't waterproof without, the, uh, without a specific cover for them. Equinox, AT Max, AT Pro are all waterproof. Um, yes, so, and Vanquish, which is the other one we've talked about, are not water, waterproof. The coils are waterproof, but the control boxes are not. Um, Yes, so absolutely. Um, 
Now, let's talk about this. I've had this question three or four times. Um, so, I've had this question three or four times. Comparing these VLF machines like uh, the RX, like the Gold Monster, like the Gold Bug, to an SDC. An SDC, ATX, 4500, 7000, will all blow a VLF machine away. But they're also dramatically dearer, like four or five times the price, ten times the price. Okay? So the that's that's the problem with these VLF machines, uh, with, the, with the pulse induction machines. They're between $4,000 and $10,000. These VLF machines, like the RX, like the Gold Monster, like... The gold bug's a bit dearer, but they're all below 1100 bucks, 1200 bucks. So they won't find as much gold as what a SDC or a five to 7,000 will, but they will find, get you on the gold. So it's a great starting point for a first timer who really wants to get into gold and really wants to get serious about it. If you can run uh, I find people that have run VLF machines for gold, like Gold Monsters, like ORXs, then step up to a bigger machine as a sort of stepping level, right? They find that the pulse induction machines are very, very, very simple to use compared to... If you can run a VLF and get really, really good at a VLF and find gold, I would look at the... I, I, you know, your step up is quite easy. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so absolutely. Okay, so the other honorable mentions there is, of course, the Gold Monster and the Gold Bug 2. If you like an old machine, um, if you like an older style machine with knobs and dials, the Gold Bug 2 is a very, very good machine, so. Um, as Cleggy said, yes, you can put the waterproof kit on it and it's, it gets you down to five metres. So, um, yeah, there's Donnie. Donnie, for half a gram at 200 mil with the RX. Um, absolutely. It's smashing it with these little tiny nuggets. Um, you cannot go past the, uh, the, some of these, uh, these cheap machines when you know what you're doing. Okay, you need to learn them and you need to learn them back to front, but yeah. So, camo covers. Let me just find, that's what I'm looking for. Now I don't sell these covers. This is the RX cover, it goes on the control box, okay. So, these are the people you look up, okay. Protectors, they're from the UK, okay. That's where I get them from. This is my Max that goes on the Max, All right? But they're really, my machines cop an absolute pizzling. Quite often it's not me using some of these. Um, quite often I'll hire them out or lend them out or do whatever. So I like to throw a bit of protection on it. So that RX gets the cover on the control box and it's pretty well protected. So. Yeah, and Deus users, have you seen these? Put your pin pointer, holds your pin pointer right there, or you can put it on the, on the stem here. So, yeah, pin pointer holder, that's pretty cool. So, but yeah, so those guys do covers for most machines. So, Gold Monsters, 7000s. <coughs> so, um, yeah, so, um, Absolutely, get a cover for it, protect it, okay? It'll hold their resale value, um, and uh, yeah. The pinpointer holder is a sensational idea. In stock at Gold Diggers, you can come and talk to me about a pinpointer holder. Um, yes, righto. Don't forget, you gotta share the live stream to win Ace 200. Now. YouTube, you need to share on Facebook. You can just hit the share button below your uh, what you're watching on the screen and share it straight to Facebook. Uh, Facebook, you know how to Facebook Facebook share, share. Okay, so 
the opposite platform will win this. A gold digger's mug and a bag of pay dirt. So share away. So the opposite platform wins the gold nugget and the, uh, not the gold nugget, the gold pay dirt and the mug. Not this mug. I'll send you a brand new one. Like, it's in a box. So, yes. Well, I know. Um, okay. <coughs> um, v. So, what was that one I just missed there? Blake picked up a 0.2 gram at 8 inches with the gold bug. See? VLF machines have a place. Where they fall down, VLF machines, I'm getting off topic here, but I, I, I'm a bit passionate about these VLF machines. VLF machines are good in ground that's not super heavily mineralized. Um, if you get into some ground that's, um, that's really, really quite good um, and not heavily mineralized, it is, VLF machines will find gold. I don't even care, I've, I've seen gold found with a 200, 300, 400 ace. So it can be done and, but it's much harder work, much, much harder work. So, right, where are we? I'm a bit lost. Don't forget the uh, email address, the pink email address up above, my, above me there. That's for questions for the World Metal Detecting Championships, the panel show. If you want a question answered, Send an email to that email address. It's very, very important you do. We may fill up with those on that email address with questions and have no, you know, time for a stack of questions off the shop floor. So, right. See, Greg, Greg here got 0.5, half a gram at 30 mils with an X Terra 305. See, a 305, that was never a dear machine. So, you know, you get in the right place, um, and I mean, the old saying is you got to swing over it. Doesn't that? You're never going to find it unless you swing over it. Right. Let's talk about. Let's go. We got a dead heat in the next thing, uh, and of course, vanquish affects all of this. Um, just that somewhere here, just to let you have a look. I mean, you might not be able to read it, but you won't be able to read it. I know you won't be able to read it, but on Mine Lab's page, web page, right? They've got all the vanquishes there, and they've got all the all the specs of the vanquish listed all down there. So, you know, one thing I do notice is uh, they've switched to double A batteries. So alkaline batteries and rechargeable, depending on which machine you get. But double A batteries, it's a new set of coils for it. You know, um, so, you know, if you did want to get over there, have a look at this page and have a look what's going uh, with the uh, with the Vanquish. Because, you know, why not? Okay. Let's start... Now let's finish with my favourite segment, the kids segment. The little kids, like my little three year old, little Finn, he loves his machine. Uh, so, when I talk about below that $700 mark, we start off with the Ace 400. So where's the Ace 400 here? I probably even haven't got a picture of it. Yes I have, there's the Ace 400. Why do I like the 400? And I like the 400 really because of the coil, okay? It's 649, right? Got a good double D coil on it and quite a powerful machine, particularly if you're doing coins and relics where you're not going into heavily mineralized ground, okay? When you're going into heavily mineralized ground, you are best to have a machine that's got a ground balance on it. But... 649, really, really good machine, simple to use. Um, yeah, it, it, it is a very, very good machine. So then we get into this $350 mark and we have some confusion. 
okay? And I couldn't really, I have my personal preferences, but I have my personal preferences, but would I be happy either way? Probably. Um, and that is, oh, that's right. I don't, I don't, I think I've been pushed back here. Something's going on here. So my personal, I can't really pick it, but I like the Garrett Ace 200 or the Go Find 66, okay? Mine Lab 66. Those two machines are about the same price. Uh, I go find folds up smaller. The Garrett's probably a bit easier to use. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I like I can't pick these two. I prefer the I prefer the Garrett because, as you may know, I I probably you know I like the Garrett's a bit more. I like the American made thing, you know, but it's, it's a, the go find and the, the, not much between them. So that's a personal preference thing. Okay. So I'll leave that to your imagination. So the last question, the last, last session, sorry, there is stuff going on everywhere here. So, um, there's stuff just absolutely going on everywhere here. I'm hitting the wall. I've got detectors stacked up everywhere. So the last little section is the kids section, the little kids section. This is my, well, that's terrible, that shot there. But this machine here, you can see if I put that against there, it's about almost twice my shoulder width, okay? It's the Bounty Hunter Junior Target ID. As you can see with the picture up here, it's got three emojis. It's really good for the kids. 159 bills, okay. My young, this is actually my young blokes, and he, has, he hasn't scratched the coil too much, but I'll tell you what, she's got some scratches on her. But the young bloke loves it. Um, he just, you know, sometimes it doesn't, Sometimes the coil doesn't go near the ground. Sometimes it's a sword. Sometimes it's a horse. He rides it like a horse. But it's surprisingly robust. It works pretty well. It's the cheapest machine that... I should put that video up sometime of Finn riding this like a horse. And the targets, ding, 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 as he's riding along. Anyway, um, but... This machine, I just love this machine. It's simple. The kids love it. It, it It's one of my favourite things to do is to take kids treasure hunting and finding a bit of treasure. They're so easy to please that if they find a bit of metal, that's a treasure to them. Um, the shiny rocks that come out of the hole, that's a treasure to them. You know, we're still doing... Um, we're still doing the... Uh, we're still doing the uh, backyard at home, um, and uh, Finn still, we dig up a rock, and he's just like, gotta go and show mum, gotta go and show mum. Anyway, we're, Finn and I are on a mission. Um, with this machine, right, I'm, I'm trying to get him a piece of gold with this machine, so, Stay tuned, there will be a video. We've had 37 attempts at it, but there will be a video of Finn detecting a little piece of gold with this on the lease. And uh, yeah, um, so he's, we're gonna find him a bit of gold out there. It's the, the problem with it is, it's his patient le patience level. We've got five minute windows, right? To go and find a bit of gold, but that's okay. So that's my pick, okay? So questions, fire questions at me. Um, if you've got questions, I would love to hear them and try and answer them. Um, uh, the, let me just refresh though the, question, the questions because we've only got the questions, the prizes. So we've only got five minutes left, okay? So share to win tonight's prize. Ace 200 detector, $349.
one of my favourite low end machines. So make sure you share. It's going to be drawn in about five or six minutes if I don't get distracted. Second prize or second winner is a white box and some pay dirt. Inside that white box is a new gold diggers muck. So uh, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, so second prize, we're going to do it to the opposite platform so uh, that everyone has a chance to win. Right. Um, right, I'm just going to try and get some questions here. Um, if there's any questions, uh, just let me know. So Dean was talking about oh comparing. No, I don't do machine comparisons. Comp machine comparisons suck. I'll tell you why they suck is because you can't please everyone. I can give you my opinion what I like. 7045 SDC. All the machines I've gone through. But once you go this is this and this is that, you, you bug it. So you'll be... Uh, You'll be ups upset by one. So, the, Chris asked, no, the pay dirt is not back in stock, I'm afraid. Uh, we are having trouble with the pay dirt at the moment, but it will be um, back. So, Beth asked a question here, best one for a 10 year old? Probably go find. They're a bit tall for this, fella, this one here, um, or that one up there. The, probably a go find 66 or an ace 200 they're 350 bucks uh, but yes um, that's what I would suggest so yeah um, there uh, who was that Paul Paul asked does the mi4 fit in the holder yes it does so uh, yeah fits in the holder no troubles at all um so uh all right is there any other questions here now i just want to reiterate if you've got questions for the world metal detecting the panel show it's very very important you send those uh questions to the email address the pink email address wc world championship questions so wcq at mail.com. So um, absolutely. And guys, the, 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 the purpose of this, um, the purpose of this show is not to sell you anything at all. The purpose of this show is to, if you're looking to buy a machine, this is what I would do, okay? The best machine, better than everything here, is the machine you've got okay so don't go selling a machine because I don't go selling your gold monster because I said that the RX was you know a little a bit better don't 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 go and do that um, you know get out there and use how know how to use your gold monster back to front absolutely back to front before you before you even think about anything else most problems that I see with the people using detectors is that they don't know how to use them they've um they've they, they've spent too much time in cupboards and if you don't get out there and know how to use them right you 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 know you, you're not going to know how to use the next one so get out and use the one you got and you will be um yeah um just get out there and use it. Like get some training. Buddy up to a person who, who is finding what you want to find. Okay? Get and know the machine. Get to know the machine. Take some training courses. Right? You can't just... You can't just... Um, you can't just pick anything up without any training and be excellent at it. So Anthony asked a question. Anthony's must have just tuned in. ORX or Equinox? Well, depends what you want to do, mate. So that's what my suggestion would be. So, so get out there in the public, right? 
and you know, go and swing your machine. Go and have a crack. There's places you can go. There's GPAs you can go. There's, you know, there's a group on Facebook, even if you live in a remote area, that like hooks you up with uh, people that, uh, that that live in your area. I, I think it's called someone will know. It's uh, Detector Buddy or something like that. Go and do that. So, you know, yeah. Uh, Craig. Craig asked a question. How's the World Championships going to be run? I don't know. Ask Cleggy on Wednesday night with his live stream. He has a story to tell you. And I hope to get it tonight. But I'm sure you'll get it. Um, I'm sure you'll get it. The full story on Cleggy's show on Wednesday night. And let me just tell you, if you haven't gone to the... Um, if you haven't gone, to, if you're not coming to the World Metal Detecting Championship, this is the other thing. If you've got a detector, don't know how to use it, come to the World Metal Detecting Championship, right? If you walk in there with a ace machine, there'll be 50 people there who know how to run it. If you walk in there with a gold monster or a macro racer, or the, there'll be people there that know how to run it. So come, buy a ticket. It's a cheap weekend. You'll get to hang out with me and Cleggy and... Maybe Warren and Chigger, Aqua Chigger. So it's going to be a big weekend. So come and join us. It's going to be uh, nothing short of wicked. Righto, let's get this show on the road. So I just thought I'd put a bit of gold up there, just as a bit of a, you know. So, right. Um, so Hobo, Hobo's melting gold, but I've got I'm cross with Hobo. I'll tell you a story. Look at this, Hobo. See this? What, what, what happened to my mug? I see Cleggy's, Cleggy's robbing my mugs and I can't even get a mob, mug off you, Hobo. It's outrageous. So, right. So, right. So, okay, let's get this going here. I've just got to load these shares up. Uh... Da, da, da. Sorry, I'm just getting this organised. Um, I know I uh, rant a bit, but I hate seeing detectors sitting in cupboards. I just hate it. So, And I can see from some of the people that come out in the training, not everyone, but some of the people that come out for training that I do, I can see they haven't used the machine much. Righto, here we go. So the winner... Let me fire this off now. So the winner for the detector is from the Facebook, right? And it is Riley James. Where's Riley James from? Riley James is from Sydney. So congratulations, Riley. Um, let's just get uh, a... Let's just get this loaded up here because I didn't prepare like I normally do uh, for the mug. So the mug and the pay dirt goes to Ken Murray. Ken Murray, congratulations. Ken, you've won a white box and a small bag of pay dirt. Now it's $8 bag of pay dirt. I don't want you to think you're going to get $6,000 worth of gold out of that. It's an $8 bag of pay dirt and a white box. And the white box has got a new version of that in it. So that's another show. So next week's show is going to be all about the World Metal Detecting Championships. Cleggy will be back in your poon. He's not in your poon at the moment. So we will have Cleggy. We will have Cleggy on the show next week. There's no doubt about that. So thank you everyone for joining. So it's a world metal detecting show next. The world championship of metal detecting show next week. And then the week after, we're in the show. So I hope to see you all there. Um, and uh, it will be an absolutely wicked event. So if I don't see you there... 
Oh, oh, you'll need a note. You'll need a note to come, not be there, I think. That's, the, that's a fair thing to do, isn't it? Just let me know why you're not here. Righto, guys, thanks very much. It's been fantastic. I absolutely love the stuff we do here. So, And I will see you all next week for a major show with major prizes. So see you all next week. Good night.